Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. We're here at CES 2026 once again, checking out the best of CES. Let's take a look. Luna's newest robot. Now this is a desktop companion. Uh, Alex, can you tell us more about it? Yeah, so this is Luna Deskmate. It's uh, your AI companion. Basically here, um, this was born out of working from home. A lot of people are working in social isolation, yeah. not really talking to people besides maybe some meetings and messages, but it can also help with productivity. So you can connect this to your like, G Suite, Slack. Uh, there's an app on the laptop that you could bridge both together. So you can do screenshots and be like, can you analyze this for me? Um, you can look at like different documents. I don't want to read this whole thing. Can you do yeah. a quick summary of it? Um, you get an email. What's the latest email I received? And it could be like, oh, your coworker wants to schedule a ne uh, meeting with you. And mm. you can just directly uh, tell her, okay, cool. Let's schedule this meeting. And they'll put together the entire invite and you just have to confirm it will send automatically. And then it's also a phone charger at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll show you kind of like the breakdown here. So just getting out of the app specifically. Yeah, so, so this is a MagSafe charger. Okay. So cool. once you mount this on here, it'll automatically start charging and then give it like a second or two. And It'll then, boot up the app itself. Yeah. Uh, so it's not like the type typical app where you have to like sit here, type yeah. and talk to like, put in all the info or any type anything in. It's just like as soon as you bounce it, it'll automatically bring the app off. And then there's other charging ports here as well. So if you want to charge your other devices, like your monitor or your laptop or maybe your headphones case, anything, yeah. it's kind of slicker way to clean up your desk. That's awesome. Actually, yeah. uh, <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. And then this will make, I'm assuming it's for the iPhone, but is it for the Android base as well? At the moment, it's just iPhone. Okay. Well, so yeah. That's why I'm an iPhone user. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And what's cool about it is it has the, the it's uh, front camera on the whole time. So it kind of like tracking monitors and tracking you specifically. I know there's like a bunch of us right now, but basically you can like move it around. You can give it like some expression. Yeah. Like I give it a thumbs up and it reacts. It reacts. To it. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Give it some hard. You could just like press into it a little bit. Now let's say if you get a phone call, how does that play yeah. out? Well, I think you still get your notifications here specifically. Will um, it pop up uh, yeah. like naturally the way it would on a normal Yeah, you'll see like, oh, this popped up. Oh, cool. It's not like you're off of your phone, but this is kind of a way to take the distraction of being yeah, on yeah. at the same time, but you'll still get your notifications when you need it. And it has, it has like a near 360 spin, so you can like turn around. As you see, it's like moving up and down. Yeah. So it's a little bit more interactive than some traditional like other robots. That I see that. Say. And then once you're done, you just simply take off and it'll automatically roll. Yeah, I guess. so like once that's the app's done, oh, it'll reset. Yeah. And then it's just like, you just hit out the app and... It'll reset back yeah. to its zero yeah. set. And then like if I just put my phone like this, yeah. it'll rotate itself. Oh, yeah, it'll automatically rotate. Nice. Yeah. And the cool thing is too, you can have direct conversation with it yeah. too. So it'd be like, hey, I'm hungry. Yeah. What's nearby, where can I get? So it's your or, AI companion at the same time. Yeah. What's the weather out? You could even be like, what's your opinion on my outfit? And it'll yeah. take a quick screenshot and do an at the, like yeah. analyze it. Cool. I know like talking directly to it at the moment, I think it's kind of more turned off because it's been picking up a lot of audio of here at CES. But what's unique about uh, Luna too is that there'll be different uh, responses. Oh, yeah. Like I've I've been doing live demonstrations and yeah. asking the same question. And and it's always it, different. Yeah, it'll be like, oh, you scheduled this meeting earlier. Is this a duplicate? Oh, that's <laughs> it's cool. like, no, it's not. Oh, um, and answers kind of switch. Yeah. Uh, constantly. Between. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, between the the ClickBot first that we uh, I, I reviewed the ClickBot yeah. as well as Luna, yeah. and seeing this, it's great to see how they're also different and they're not the same product at all, yeah. but they have very similar characteristics. Yeah. And it, awesome. like the eyes is kind of very similar yeah. to like the pet bugs Exactly, that have. so it's like a family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, something to look out for and uh, yeah, thank you Alex. Appreciate your time, man. Yeah. Up next, we're at Wow Cube. Think of it as the futuristic version of a Rubik's Cube, but much more. Uh, now, Lola, can you tell us more about it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this is called the Wow Cube. It's an interactive game cube, much like the Rubik's Cube, but it, every facet contains a game. Now there's hundreds of games that are downloaded in the app that goes with it. You can choose the games, you can download more games, it's up to you. The challenge levels are also amazing. If you were to choose a game, you might move it like a Rubik's Cube and it moves around like with a bubble and let's say I want to choose practically I love this game so I'm gonna double tap it I'll choose the game right so we're gonna wait to load it up now that's the ladybug game there's hundreds of games on it um 
Let's wait for it to load and start it. It says twist to start, right? Now we're waiting. And let's watch the little ladybug go. Every cube is connected together, much like the Rubik's Cube. You've got to interact with it and move it up and down. Everything is interaction. When the path is closed, we must find a path, for example. There is many, many levels to this game. This, is, this challenges all kids, all ages. Uh, there is no minimum age or... Basically, it's fun interactive game for everybody. There you go. Now, this game can last a long time depending on how you play, but this is amazing. Definitely really cool. Uh, they have lots of different games on here and you simply go ahead and pick and choose and double tap when you're ready to play. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Up next, we're here at Eurevo checking out something pretty cool. Now, this caught my eye over here. This is regarding their all new Cyber Mega. Bretonel designed for marathon runners. Now, I asked them the reason behind it. Well, they said one thing is obviously the speed. This tops out at 12.4 miles, which is designed for most marathon runners. However, besides the sleek design, it actually folds up and you can actually put this just about anywhere. Now, traditionally a big treadmill like this, you would imagine it is stationary, but to go ahead and fold it, I guess all you have to do is pull this up and then this will go up here and then this goes flat down. And then from there, you can go ahead and lift this and store it behind a wall, behind a closet, wherever you like. They got themselves a nice detox massage when you're done running. I mean, look at this guy. He looks super comfy. Start? Let's start. Oh, they, they work together. Okay, they connect to each other. Yes. Okay. Ah, all right, I'm just gonna relax. Ah. How you doing, buddy? You hanging in there? <laughs> just... <laughs> oh yeah, it's squeezing. Oh yeah, it's like, uh, it feels like hair bags. It's actually quite relaxing. Lastly, we reviewed this in the past. This is designed for the office. So while you're working on whatever, you can go ahead and just walk and do your exercise as you're in your Zoom meeting. And then you can see this one here, nicely, conveniently designed. And uh, yeah, I actually still use mine till today. So yeah, Eurevo is definitely stepping it up. This here is Globy by Zello. And if you see behind me, we actually have a huge wall of them. Now, uh, we got someone here. Hey, how's it going? Very good. All right, guys. So, can you talk to us a little of, bit more about course, this? Of course, definitely. So all the speakers you have in the market, all they do is basically a sound experience. Right. We have the speaker that does a sound and a visual experience. As you can see, it has a liquid in it, which is nanofluid. Ah. And it works with magnets. And when we play music, it basically interacts to the music that you play. And you have different several LED colors. And also has a microphone in it. It's it responding to my own voice. Correct. I can see that too. Now, uh, how is it like constantly moving? Is there a magnet inside Correct. this Correct. So what, what it does, basically a magnet that basically interacts with the nano fluid. For every beat that you play on the music, it makes the magnet, it makes the fair fluid move. That is so crazy. That almost looks like Venom or like, something, is, like yeah. something out of Appreciate another it. planet. Now you can also customize the colors too, from my understanding, by pressing that button right over there. So you have a, a full array of colors, uh, and then it comes both in black as well as in white. Correct. And you could easier either put it on without the stand or with the stand, the way it is over here. Nice. And it's a Bluetooth speaker, and it's eight hours. actually quite loud too. Oh, eight hours. 20 watts, and flight TSA approved because the liquid in here is less than 100 mm. Ah, that's very important. <laughs> right, I was gonna say. Type C to charge it, USB and AUX in. Okay, so you have everything that you need in terms of being able to control it. We got ourselves a USB-C, a USB-A, as well as an AUX. Uh, now it has eight hours of battery life as mentioned. And uh, yeah, this actually looks really neat. Now on the top, you have the different touch buttons. Uh, so you have your menu, you have your volume, your skip, and also as a microphone button as right, well. to interact with the ambient sound. Ah, very cool. And then uh, tell me about this on the, the wall behind us. It looks really interesting. So you can see how they're all responding at the same time. And then it almost looks like it's alive. It is, it is. Honestly, it's such a beautiful product for gifts. Yeah. A lot of people are purchasing it at the CES. You can get it through the next two days on a special code uh, CES2026 for a 50% off. And then you can check out the link down below in the description for that. And uh, even just not as a Bluetooth speaker, it makes a great desktop piece. It is. And yeah, thank you for your time. This is well, really cool. For sure. Thank you very much. Another product to look out for is Luca AI. Look over here. Over here, you can see that there's different agents that you can talk to. Like you can talk to Mr. Beast, you can talk to Spider-Man. And by clicking it, I can take a picture and I can ask him, what does he see? And then he'll respond back to that. Hey, Henry, Spider-Man swinging in to say hi. Now you can also send the pictures and have it animate 
make it make it into Iron Man, make it into a Minecraft character. It's entirely up to you. So from there, you can click on the camera, and then you can take a picture. So I'll do a selfie mode, like this. What do you see in front of you? Whoa! Awesome selfie. It actually sounds like Spider-Man. So being a kid, this would be really cool. Magic. Give me a bluey uh, style of the age and I want top skin. That is cool. Dang. What? No Your way. Toy has so could it make a spell? You expect it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Your toy has something to say, start chatting. That's so cool. That looks exactly like me. <laughs> That's so crazy how fast it does it. <laughs> Man, that's why you actually you can, you can create any agent. Yeah. Not only we offer, but the user generation content. Yeah. It's user generated agent. Yeah. What? <laughs> that's so cool. Nice. You can also make it alive. That is crazy. And let's see, going on for. I just took a picture of Iron Man. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember you. <laughs> That is nuts. The interesting thing about this is that it's portable. You can put it in your pocket and you can take it anywhere you want to go. It's literally a little assistant. Something to look out for. Hey, we're checking out an all new robot. This here's by Fourier. Meet the GR3. Humanoid robot with a nice soft touch. Now it features Alcantara from my understanding and has a really nice looking feel to it. It can also dance. Is that correct? Let's, let's take a look. Uh -huh. Oh, hey. Ah. Ah. These guys got to shape this pretty well. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many robots have I danced with that CEO? Oh, yeah, I can just. It's actually got pretty cool looking now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can tell right off the back, it's got some good movements. It's very smooth, and it's actually quite quick and responsive. Yeah, kind of gives you an idea what the future holds. And we got some, uh, these are called Nano? Yeah, it's got, called Nano. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's an internal code. Oh, okay. It has a uh, face tracking. Oh, it's watching me. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, yeah, that's what has two microphone can do. Oh wow, that's so fast. You got all the dynamic solo uh, yes, servos? Yes. Each one's individual servo? Oh wow. Yes. 28 traders to no, each hand. That's so cool. All data chain. There are technicians, the finger change. See, this is smart. This is what everyone should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> and this yeah, is not hype, but we got have the camera and the palm sensor as well. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Yes. Can I get a snack, please? Thank you. Actually, uh, I don't like this one. Can I can I get the Pringles here? Take this back. Yeah, no, not that one. No, 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 no. Pringles, Pringles. Ah, ah yes. Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. Now this is. Oh yeah, it's the fact that he has no controllers and just doing that like that is absolutely mind blowing. Robotics and something it up. Pretty cool. <laughs> Man, that is so amazing. Look at that. Hmm. All right, check this here now. This thing looks crazy, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Here is a Linux only. This is definitely cool robot by Linux. And the bustling CES You know that CES my embedded cameras are up. Emma, you can sell them by robot. Don't worry. I only use my powers for greetings and the occasional bad pun. That's awesome. This is cool. So this one is Sharpa. You can see up here on the top uh, how it's reacting. And then... Five Sharpa. Keep going. That is incredible. 
Oh, 10 shot Valley on fire. This is not my goal. See now, okay. See the base. Cut it off. Alright, this is another one. This one if I had a robo. Oh look, it said hi. Hey buddy. <laughs> Very fluid like movements. I also noticed that he has two waist servos that are actually in the middle. It might help him bend over. So that's kinda neat. Alright, this is a uh, HLU EI. Can you lift? <laughs> Yep, guy, yeah. All right, let's see that. 12 on the floor. 15 pounds. Let's see what you got. Wow, strong guy. <laughs> That's cool. Off the side. Nice. This one is a TI-5 robot. Very interesting, quite identical in size. I don't look like the G1. I don't know, what do you guys think? All right, so we got Neuro Robotics here. You can see it uh, kind of in his back. This is cool. The miniature version. So you have a teacher. Right. Yeah, please, please. Um, that's the Keep sniffing. That's why I'm... He just wants to walk. <laughs> I'm the king of it, Spoof. Bring it on. Just remember. Whatever you pat me, I'll throw it right back twice as hard. Fist bump. Ready to play in my arena? Fist bump? Can you do a fist bump? Hey, can you give me a fist bump? Here comes the best fist bump right, in Vegas. Good. Get ready. Boom! Nailed it. How'd that feel? You're in the big leagues now. <laughs> you got any more tricks up your sleeve? Um, hey, just a heads up. Looks like it didn't go through that time. 